You often hear ominous messages about fine dust particles and other health hazards, but it's usually concerning the air outside. Health experts all agree that we also have to avoid poor air quality inside within our buildings. Volatile organic compounds, or VOCs as they're also known, that are sometimes emitted by cleaning products, construction materials, and stationary products like glue, tape, and markers can have a negative influence on the air inside, as people themselves can. After all, people are the opposite of trees. We breathe in oxygen and we breathe out CO2. I work at an advice bureau that specializes in indoor air quality and indoor climate. It's not very nice to work in unpleasant, unhealthy surroundings. It's hard to produce a good job if your employees are simply feeling uncomfortable. Well, you can't manage what you can't measure. That's why we put measuring tools in buildings like this office, so we can check whether the temperature and humidity are ideal for the employees. We're very focused on the air quality. We can measure the amount of CO2 and CO levels, and we can also measure the amount of dust particles in the air, especially the fine dust. <laughs> well, an insufficient air quality can have lots of negative effects on the health of the employees, going from dry skin to coughing, shortness of breath, exhaustion, irritated eyes to dizziness. Well, carpet can contribute significantly to the quality of the air indoors. Household dust, fine dust particles, and other possible allergens like house dust mite excrements just fly around. When you have wall-to-wall -wall carpet, those fine dust particles get stuck in the three-dimensional pile structure of the carpet. The carpet keeps those particles out of the air by acting like a dust trap. So all you have to do is just vacuum regularly. In rooms with a hard floor, the dust particles just fly around in the air with every move that you make. Hey, darling. No one here, thanks. Outside. Hi. Oh. Hey. How are you? I'd be a very bad advisor if I didn't follow my own advice, right? It's very important to me to have the best possible air quality at home as well. So we decided to have an advanced ventilation system in the house and wall-to-wall -wall carpet. The thing is, my boy has asthma. He gets that from me. And I was reading some scientific articles in which the German Asthma and Allergy Association recommends the use of broad loom carpet instead of hard flooring. And now he's crawling around on the carpet. Anyway, the inside climate also benefits from this wall-to-wall -wall carpet, and it's very nice to come home to this cozy warmth. <laughs> I'm reassured that the air quality is very good, but sometimes it can be compromised. But that's nothing to do with the carpet, right? <laughs>